What shows that uh, in the late 1780s we are at a moment where the white teeth suddenly, uh, the white tooth smile suddenly seems to be coming into its own is that not only do we have uh, Madame Vigée Le Prince uh, uh, a portrait producing such a, uh, uh, a stir uh, within, the, uh, within cultural circles, but also this is the period in which we see the uh, emergence, for the first time in history, of porcelain white dentures. I mean, false teeth have got a wonderful uh, and uh, richly, um, uh, very rich history. I mean, even the pharaohs in uh, ancient Egypt uh, had some uh, uh, false teeth, and there's certainly been false teeth right through uh, the period. But these are usually rather ghastly, it must be said, and certainly don't ever look like uh, uh, real uh, teeth. What you have in the end of the 1780s is the emergence of porcelain white teeth, which will, will allow, in other words, the white tooth smile to be, to be uh, uh, carried off by someone who has no teeth at all. Uh, there's a man, a French uh, uh, entrepreneur, a guy called uh, Dubois de Chemin, uh, and he, ha he takes out the patent. 1788, it's the year after Madame Vigie Le Brun's uh, uh, white teeth, and so we have these wonderful uh, teeth. Um, it must be said they aren't a great success and they're very easily mocked even so there's a wonderful paint uh, engraving rather by Thomas Rowlandson the English uh, caricaturist who portrays um, uh, Dubois de Chemin with these enormous comic uh, white uh, teeth uh, in his mouth and obviously there's the humor uh, about uh, someone you know trying to look young and healthy uh, but also the grotesqueness of, of white teeth as well. And, and porcelain white teeth, although they're there in the 19th century, it's only really again in the 20th century uh, that they come into their own and we have cosmetic surgery and uh, the smile becomes what you go to the dentist for. I don't think I, when I first, when I was a kid, I went to the dentist for the first time, it was to check my, my teeth were healthy and if they weren't healthy, they'd have to come out actually. Uh, now you just see dentists selling themselves on the smile that they can produce, the white teeth that they can produce uh, for a smile.